Hey friends, Miss Natalie here, and today I wanted to show you how to use the fill tool. Uh, let's see if I can get it to say its name. There it is, fill tool, F, right there. It is probably the easiest and fastest way to add a whole lot of color to your color and shape assignment which is the one I have right here. I've used the text tool, I use some shapes tools, and now I am ready to add color. And I can go over to my color picker and I'm gonna add a, some, a rainbow. And I can just click and add the color just like that. Just color and click and it will go, the color will fill in between the lines. Of course, if you have an open line, it will go everywhere. So you got to be really careful about making sure your lines are closed. Now, I wanted to show you some of the tool options that you have. Let's go ahead and do the grays here. Um, so some tool options that you have with this. So what if I don't want it fully filled in? What if I, what if I want it just sort of filled in. Well, I can uh, work on the threshold uh, tool and that will kind of give me a softer line. You can't see it with the gray very well. Let's let's try it. <clears throat> oh, you like really can't see it with the gray because it's so gray. All right, if we were to say use the red. I think we would see it a lot better. Yes, the threshold, the lower your threshold is, the more uh, gray or uh, the less close it gets to the edge. If you have a high threshold like we did with this, you can, and you get up close, you can see that any place that was white or white-ish, it added that red to, and it added the red to the gray, so that even this right here looks like it's like a reddish black. So it really makes it, it uh, blend in with when it's pixels. Also, just, just FYI, you can only use these this tool. This is a paint tool. It can only be used on a paint layer. So cannot use this tool on a vector layer. That's why we do the um, adding color with the shape on a vector layer. But on a paint layer, you can add with the bucket. All right, so other options um, besides threshold, uh, grow selection that lets you, uh, basically it will uh, go a little bit outside the lines. Here's the line and then that makes that line thicker so it's growing outside the line. Um, feathering radius makes it kind of, ooh, um, well, feathered out. It kind of gives it a glow. It makes the edges uh, softer. That's, that's really what it does. Um, if you click on fill entire selection, it will fill everything that is selected. Oops, which is the entire layer in this case. Um, if you click use selection as boundary, it will basically fill in things that are similar. So it, it works kind of like um, <clears throat> just having edges, but um, but uh, a little bit differently. Will that, yeah, it's kind of the same. All right, um, other things that you can do is you can fill all the layers at once if you want or just work with the current layer. Um, <clears throat> theoretically, you can use patterns like these patterns up here, but I have not figured it out yet. So um, I'm not going to show you that one. Uh, but you could fool around with these different uh settings and see what you like and what you don't like and what works for you and what works for your artwork and yeah just go go make some art and have some fun and i will see you in class bye